this week, I am your host, Gotmark76. We have a fun show lined up for you today. Four big matches set to take place here in the Wrestling Legends Alliance. We are going to begin this things this week with the big boss man taking on one half of the fabulous Freebirds, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Let's sit down the ringside. An impressive victory by the Big Boss Man over gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. And the Big Boss Man and the One Man Gang, collectively known as the Twin Towers, are definitely making their way up the rankings and should be considered for a future tag team title opportunity 
Trust me, I'm aware. I am aware that the Twin Towers are a force to be reckoned with, and I'm sure they will receive some sort of a tag team title opportunity in the upcoming weeks. Another man who's rising up the rankings here in the Wrestling Legends Alliance is a member of the Hart Foundation, Flying Brian Pillman. He is in action this week against the madman from Borger, Texas, Stan the Lariat Hansen.
is your winner, Brian Pine Man. So a big victory by Flying Brian Pillman over Stan the Larry Hansen. I'm not sure I can call that an upset. Like I said, Flying Brian on a hot streak in recent weeks here in the Wrestling Legends Alliance. And he used his aerial attack to take out Stan the Lariat Hansen. Fans, our next match will take place. This is going to be exciting. Between the Latin heartthrob, Al Perez, and the Macho Man Randy Savage. Both of these men, I think, are top contenders to the U.S. and Intercontinental title. So we will want to pay very close attention to the outcome of this match. Latin heartthrob, Al Perez... And the Macho Man Randy Savage. Let's head down the ringside. So the Macho Man Randy Savage expecting to face off against the Latin heartthrob Al Perez, but Yokozuna attacking Perez, and he attacked the Macho Man soon after. We are going to keep our eyes on this situation, but fans, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I know the Macho Man will be in action next week. He is scheduled to face the big boss man, and he may be giving it a little extra, if you know what I mean, next week as he was on the short end of the stick in that attack earlier tonight here against Yokozuna. Fans, it is now time for the world-class heavyweight champion, Kerry Von Erich. He is in action here tonight against top contender, the Beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow. Of course, Bam Bam Bigelow coming off of that uh, loss last week to the Intercontinental title holder, Ravishing Rick Rude, who we will see here tonight in our main event. And Bam Bam Bigelow will look to get back on the winning track. Let's head down the ringside. Thank <laughs> you. 
So Bam Bam Bigelow getting back on the winning track with a victory over world-class heavyweight champion Kerry Von Erich in a non-total match. So Bam Bam Bigelow back on the winning track. What does that mean for Kerry Von Erich? We will need to stay tuned to find out. It is now time for our main event. Last week here on Wrestling Legends Alliance, Rowdy Roddy Piper attacked Ravishing Rick Rude prior to facing off against Bam Bam Bigelow. This week, Roddy Piper and Ravishing Rick Rude face off one-on-one -on -one in a non-total matchup. A victory by Rowdy Roddy Piper here tonight will definitely earn him a future Intercontinental title opportunity. Without further ado, let's head down the ringside. It is now time for our big main event as Ravishing Rick Rude takes on Rowdy Roddy Piper, of course, last week. Roddy Piper attacking contest. Rick Rude prior to his matchup against Bam Bam Bigelow. Making his way to the ring. And Rick From Rude able to still Minnesota. overcome those Lying odds and defeat Bam Bam Bigelow. 93 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Rick Rude. Of course, Bam Bam Bigelow getting back on the winning side of things here earlier tonight when he defeated Kerry Von Erich. This is, of course, a non title match. But Rick Rude, I think he wanted this match just as bad as Roddy Piper did. And let's head back to the ringside for the introduction of Rick Rude's opponent, Roddy Piper. And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland. And listen to the fans Weighing here. At 230 pounds. I'm a little surprised here. Roddy Piper not getting the support that I thought he was going to from the fans. But I guess that's what happens when you sneak attack somebody, even if it's somebody like a rule breaker, such as Ravishing Rick Rude. Fans really giving it to Piper here tonight. And <laughs> look at P Piper soaking it in. Piper unfazed. He's never cared what the people thought, whether they cheered for him or not. The referee calls the bell, and away we go. And Rude now going to work on Piper. Has him up the suplex. Up and over goes Rowdy Roddy Piper. And Rick Rude gyrating. And look at that. 
Piper taking full advantage with a neck breaker. Piper now climbing that second turnbuckle. Rude was too far away. And now Rude back on offense, having his way at the time with Roddy Piper. And Rude now using that top rope to choke out Roddy Piper has a count of five to break it up and does. And Piper in a world of trouble as Rude now with a series of kicks to the ribs of Roddy Piper. And now Rude going for the cover. Is that enough to put Piper away? No, it's not. Kick out of one. Well, there's someone in the front row still a fan of Roddy Piper holding up that sign. But Piper now coming back with a series of chops and punches. Rude is reeling. And now Piper using that middle turnbuckle to do damage to the leg of Ravishing Rick Rude. Inverted atomic drop by Piper. And Rick Rude is in a world of trouble. Up and over the top rope goes Rude. Down to the floor. Piper now rolling out after Rude. And now these two men battling it out on the floor. Elbow drop by Rude. Who's talking down to Piper. Piper is not going to stand for that. Big right hand by Rude. Takes down Piper and now Rude. Choking Piper there on the outside. Three. Piper back to his feet. Rude was showboating. Four. But Rude throws Piper back into the ring. Rick Rude is a competitor. I know he wants to defeat Roddy Piper here tonight. Especially after the attack from last week. But the top contenders to the Intercontinental title are lining up in a kick out of one by Piper. We saw last week Bam Bam Bigelow with a loss to Rick Rude, but he came back this week and defeated Kerry Von Erich. And now Piper with another inverted atomic drop to Rick Rude, throws Rude up and over the top rope again. This time Rude able to hang on. And Piper pulls him back into the ring. And a forearm smash face first to the mat goes Rude. And now Piper with a bulldog. Has Rude where he wants him. Hooks a leg. Is that enough? One, two, and a kick out of two by Rude. Piper now picks up Rude. Could we see goodnight Irene? Oh, no, a rake to the eye first and a chop to the throat. Piper fighting dirty here against Rude. And a rake of the back. Into the turnbuckle goes Rude, but Rude trying to make a comeback with a big left hand. Has Piper up for a pile driver and spikes him down to the mat. Is that enough to put away Piper? No, Rude kicked in the midsection. Here it comes. The Rude Awakening! No, Piper escapes! Piper had that maneuver well scouted. And this match continues. Back and forth action here is Piper working over Rude, throws him into the turnbuckle. A series of lefts and rights in the corner. Piper going to work on Rude. Hammering him down with a series of right hands. Now a kick to the midsection. Piper staying on top of the Ravishing One. Piper rolls over Rude. Is that enough to put away Rude? Referee position one and a kick out of one by Rude. What a back and forth match this is here. And there it is. Good night, Irene. Piper has it locked in the middle of the ring. Can Rude escape? The sleeper hole locked in. Rude trying to fight, but I think he's going out. No, Piper lets him out. Piper thinks he won, but Piper, I don't think Rude submitted. Rude didn't submit. Piper let Rude out, and again. Good night, Irene, but Rude makes it to the ropes. What a main event this is here. Piper rolls over Rude, hooks the leg. That's going to be enough. 
Rude in trouble. One, two, and no! A kick up by Rude. And now Piper with a series of right hands firing away on Rick Rude. Rude trying to fight back and does with a series of elbows. As Piper, Snapmare takeover, drops a knee to the side of the head. And Rude trying to mount a comeback here. Setting up Piper for another pile driver. We saw this before. Spikes Piper down. Is that enough to put away Piper? Rude hooks the leg in position one, two, and a kick out of two by Piper. The last time Rude went for the Rude Awakening, Piper had it well scouted. He's setting him up again. Will Rude connect this time? Kick to the midsection. Here it comes. He's set up. And Rude delivers this time. Down goes Piper. Hooks the leg. Rude on top. Referee out of position. One, two, and three. What a back and forth match this was. Ravishing Rick Rude is your winner. Here are some highlights from earlier in the contest. But a back and forth match. Piper had the Rude Awakening well scouted the first time, did not block it the second. And Rick Rude able to get victory over Rowdy Roddy Piper. This feud has been very personal. And Rick Rude with a measure of revenge. There's the Rude Awakening. Fans, we thank you so much for joining us here on the Wrestling Legends Alliance. Let's take it back to the studio. So Rowdy Roddy Piper coming up short in his match against Ravishing Rick Rude. And I think something else to pay very close attention to is the fact that Ravishing Rick Rude was getting booed by the fans, but so was Roddy Piper. It looks like some of the fans at ringside were not happy with the actions of Roddy Piper last week. Something that we should keep our eye on here in the Wrestling Legends Alliance. Fans, we thank you so much for joining us here for Got Mark 76 this week. We have a great show lined up for you next week. Our big main event, the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion Hulk Hogan will team up with the NWA World Champion, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, and they will take on Nature Boy Ric Flair and Andre the Giant. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.